What's up guys, it's Gunman465, bringing you another quick tutorial. You may have seen my Silent Hill Homecoming um, test video. And just for anybody wondering, because I saw that a lot of people were wondering, I don't know if it's been a recent problem, but you can't run Silent Hill. There's no settings to make it run in windowed mode. And I'll show you how to run it in windowed mode. So you go to wherever your Silent Hill is, type it in in the search engine. I can't really... Well, I guess you already know where mine is, but I can't really, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Because mine is in a completely different place than yours, for certain reasons. But anyway, um, you go in, um, you may or may not have more files than me. You know, you might have this stuff. But what you have to do is, like, if you go to bin, like, that's where my game is. But what you have to do is go to engine and go to vars underscore pc it's a cfg file i have no idea what cfg stands for so don't ask like advanced questions i just know you got to go to a cfg file and it's called vars underscore pc you click on that and if you have windows 8 it might pop up and it might look like a white little piece of paper just don't don't go to the app store go to and this isn't for anybody that doesn't have windows 8 or windows 7 i don't know how windows 7 does it but don't listen to me if you don't have Windows 7 or Windows 8. If it pops up and says, look for app in App Store because it doesn't know what to open it with, go to Browse or whatever is going to be there and go to Notepad. And it'll open up on Notepad. And you go, you go down, and you look for full screen. It's going to say true here. But what you got to do, this is how it's going to look. It's going to just be like that. You just got to go there. And backspace and put false it could pop up as a zero for false I think and you have to put one for true I mean I mean zero for true and you gotta put one for false or if you see if your thing is not able to come out of full screen and whatever number you see if you see a one make it a zero if you see a zero make it a one if you see a true make it a false and it'll come out in windowed mode but what it might do is take up this whole screen and then actually be past this taskbar so what you would do to make it whatever like resolution you want you go down until you see screen resolution height and screen resolution width um everything like looked all weird and like look just like this window like the game would run like like that and then you'd have like this you just have a big black you can't even call that bar you call that a chunk but yeah sorry that's my thing my radio thing like transforming but whatever you go to screen resolution I find it best to put in 720 and as the screen height and screen resolution width as 1080 so after you do all that you go to save and I know there's a lot of problems with like people doing that those exact steps exactly what I told them and it'll say you don't have permission try to copy this file don't don't move it copy it onto the desktop and put it back in here delete the file that won't let you do it and then try it on the one that you copy and pasted um i've never tried it but i haven't had the problem if it messes it up you might just have to reinstall the game sorry but that was just that was just a warning so with my settings what I showed you this is what pops up it pops up in this window and I find this perfect for if I want to record gameplay if I want to stream it and all right yeah I clicked and it, it'll say it's not responding but if you just wait like even the recording will show it still like playing the game like it'll it'll show all the loading screens it just says not responding for you but if you're not recording, you'll see this. Just be patient. It'll blow over soon. And then you have Silent Hill Homecoming. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you all. If it was, please leave a like. And um, for more tutorials, stay tuned. Because I'm not a tutorial channel. I'm more of a gaming channel. But if I know I have a problem with something and I if I find out how to fix it, I'm going to help other people understand how to fix it so thanks for watching i'll see you all later bye now